Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, this guy render, and today we're going up against Pocket Player. And uh, yeah, this guy has been a long time follower, and um, yeah, I know him like way back since I had always started Pocket him. He's a PokeTuber too, so make sure to check his channel out. He does upload a great content, and you know, we got a few Pokemons that become quite stand on his team, and that is definitely his Teddy Orsa, or Fug. Which I got the pleasure to go up against this time. And so looking through his team here, we got Sunflora, Mawile, Quagsire, Teddy Earth, of course, and Claydool and Miss Media. So quite potent one. Definitely Sunflora is his like weakest Pokemon in theory, but a lot of hard hitters and good walls, and I need to find a way to work around that. And Miss Media is always trouble no matter how I design my team. And I myself is using Bertic. Pure Ugly, Wheel Tough, War Madame, Typlosion, and uh, Polyrath. This is a special set Polyrath, had a lot of fun using it, um, definitely come from Frank Trode, so make sure to check him out too, if you want to find out some good sets. So, just through and through here, I knew that Pure Ugly seems to be the obvious lead on my part, so I didn't really want to leave with that just in case, so I'm going to leave with Bear Take, hoping that whatever he kind of start up with, is something I can deal with. I was thinking that, you know, Mobile seems very likely, Miss Media seems likely, and Clay Duel seems likely to get hazards up because I do not have a rapid spinner. And Self Rocks is, uh, well, I'm not entirely way to it, it still will affect me quite a lot. So, with all this, my guys, let's go. So, yeah, like I said, they're gonna start off with the Bear Tick. He's actually gonna showcase straight off the bat his Miss Mages. And uh, just through and through here, I knew that I can take a hit from this thing and then retaliate, which would definitely take this thing out. So I just went for Ice Punch. He predicted this real well and um, actually gonna go to his Mawile. Mawile is um, just one of those Pokemon that if it is the Intimidate set, it can bulk out a lot of things. And Ice Punch obviously won't do anything and he will get the chance to get the Self Rocks up because this is a defensive set, like I said. And uh, I wanted to get my rocks up too, so I just went for my Wormadan. Uh, my Wormadan is really, really nerfed this battle because it, can't, it has two Pokemon that have Levitate. And um, basically that means that my EQ can't hit anything whatsoever. And that also means that Toxic and Stealth Rocks is not that prominent in this battle because he has a Steel type which resists Toxics and I knew that. So we're just gonna go, like I said, there for some Stealth Rocks. Really, really forcing in the potential of uh, Clay Duel in this battle because Clay Duel is something I really need to whittle down before I can take out. Um, so, anyway, Sunflower is here, and um, I do expect a special hit. So, I'm gonna bring Gizmo, the Wheeler Tough. And for a second here, I really thought I could take this better, but his Giga Drain does so much damage, so much so that I thought that he was uh, Specs. And uh, that is not the case, it is a Soul Twisted, and he will retaliate with a Slush Bomb, which I barely, barely live. So due to that, I decided that, alright, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me, and go for a double edge, just really, really take him out, like, nope, I'm not doing this, no way, you're going, I'm going to take you down too. And the Gizmo did some great job there, who knew? Wiggles out, the pure power. So anyway, I'm going to bring Mr. Biggest Word, because, well... He is definitely my poke to bring here, and he's gonna showcase the Fug. And this Pokemon is, um, I'm not gonna lie, it can be pretty darn dangerous. Uh, so I'm just gonna go for um, a knockoff here, if I remember correctly. Uh, no, I went for Fake Out, which protected too. And now he's gonna showcase, of course, the poison. So I was sure that this was, of course, quick feed, which means one thing: I need to get out. Because I can't take a superpower or a close combat, so I was really, really banking on that, you know, I have to really, really get out of here. Uh, he's actually gonna switch out, which I definitely didn't expect here, and it's gonna bring this. And this is really bad, like I said there, um, I was hoping I can frame him out, so I actually decided not to go for an earthquake, I decided instead go for the toxic. And uh, my opponent really, really plays me well here, because he will of course stay in and go for a knockoff, getting rid of my leftovers. While it doesn't do a lot of damage, it's still in that aspect that now I can't do any recovery whatsoever. So I was thinking here, and of course this is just stupid me after all, that since he stayed in, that he's gonna keep staying in, maybe go for play rough. So I went for an earthquake, and... Uh, this is not good. This is not good at all. It's it's terrible. And uh, I knew that I can take 
uh, a shadow ball or anything like that from a miss mage. I shouldn't really need to worry about it. I do go pro I protect just a scout off which move decides to do. Synergy ball is the way it's gonna do, so I knew I can take that. Uh, not well. It's had hitting me neutral, but I knew I can survive at least two of those. So I'm gonna go for toxic, and what do you know? He actually now gonna decide to switch out. And I definitely stayed in. I'm pretty much second warmer than here. There is no way I can play this differently. Uh, so I just went for another way of toxic. He's gonna bring the fug, and uh, yeah, that that is of course not working. But at the same time here, I knew that I can still go for an earthquake. It shouldn't really have to do anything. Uh, so just go for protect first. Just scouting out what he decides to do. See if anything I can soak. He's gonna go for the facade. I feel really comfortable here. Plus, you know, the toxins will him down, obviously. And, um, yeah, the facade is coming, and Wormadan is not ready yet. He's gonna <laughs> hit the back with an earthquake, and the earthquake is actually enough. Together with toxic, of course, which is, um, yeah, that is actually really nice. So, yeah, I was sure it's gonna bring Miss Mages here, but he's actually gonna bring the Quag Sawyer, and, um, until this point, I was really scared of going for Aqua Jet on my, um, uh, what's it called, on my um, Bear Tick because um, this thing could have bought Absorb, and if so, you know, I'm somewhat nerfed. But I actually do outspeed this thing, which obviously I should do, and go for Toxic. I was really surprised my opponent didn't go for Miss Magius because Miss Magius would outspeed and um, would have helped him a lot, obviously. But right, at least now I know that he probably, you know, he is definitely here to stay. So I'm just gonna bring Mr. <laughs> Mr. Biggest Words yet again, because he does outspeed everything in his team, and you know, getting some good chip damage is always nice. And he, of course, gonna predict me go for fake out, which you know, I'm not gonna lie, it, it seems really obvious that that was something I could have done. And um, basically, I actually went for a knockoff because I was sure that I was threatening him so much that uh, he would go to his Miss Mages, but you know, this is a better move and uh, he definitely soaked that really well, that is a crit too, so that is awful. I do outspeed though, so I'm just gonna go for U-turn. And really here, I don't do any damage whatsoever to this uh, Mawal, and my Mr. Biggest Words or Pure Ugly can't really do anything to it, and I knew that, so I'm just gonna go to Gwen, which is the special set Polyraft, and I was really sure he was going for an Iron Head, so... Yeah. That really hurts. It really does. It hurts so much. So here on out, at least I'm gonna go for Skull. Pretty much banking and hoping for a burn because then I can live this. And yes, thank you, hacks. Obviously, uh, it's gonna go for another play rough. And uh, now I can actually tank that out. And um, I decided to go for an ice. Uh, what's it called? An ice beam instead because of the. State it's in, you know, instead of want to sack it, which I really think he did well through. So, the Moa is out, and that means that Mr. Biggest Word can come in and, you know, work a bit more properly than it has until this point. He is actually going to bring now the Miss Magius, and due to the HP my Polarat is in, there is really no way for me of preserving it. Hell, I'll even go so far and say this probably isn't really that dangerous to anything that is left on his team as of right now. So I'm just gonna fire this off. He's gonna go for Psychic and um, yeah, did not expect Psychic, but that's a good thing. Poison types are very, very common in end use. I think that was a very good move to have. And of course the Toxic will wheel him down bit by bit. And uh, basically I'm just going to Ashburger. Ashburger has now the Aqua Jet and uh, Basically, I decided that, you know, this will either make it or break it for me. I need to go for Aqua Jet. I need to do the damage on this thing. But he's gonna bring the Quagsire, so I was like, oh no. And this I Water Absorb. Damn, I can't use my priority whatsoever. But wait, wait, what? It actually scores, it actually hits. This is an unaware set. That is awesome, because that means I don't really need to worry about this thing too much. But of course, it is super bulky and super defensive. Which means that I have to find a way to work around this, um, and Quagsire has access to recovery too. Which means that I really have to find like just ways of really denting it. He's gonna go for Skull here. I am a Soul Vested. I'm fairly sure I can take this, you know, kind of well. He doesn't score a burn here, which of course is super important. And basically through that damage, I knew that I can probably go for a Fake Out combination and then U-turn, and that this time he was going to stay in, which he is of course doing. 
which is lucky for me because the fake out in combination with the toxic will help me whittle this thing down and I was really relying on toxic. Wormadan has done some great like work here and whittle down the Pokemon that are well the most dangerous here which is awesome so I'm gonna go for knockoff hoping that you know I'm getting in that range I can take it out it is close but it's sadly not enough it's gonna go for another skull here doesn't burn me and I feel that all right I need to preserve my pure ugly because pure ugly is the only thing that I know outspeed miss mages if my um, if my bear tick is not able to take it out so that was basically my thought process and I thought U-turn could take this thing out but it does survive with a slither of health so I'm gonna bring Ashburger and basically go in to take the scald um, I was glad my opponent didn't go for recovery because it is whittled down by default and it's gonna score a crit here but still doesn't get the burn that's kind of bad but that is really 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 unfortunate but um, beer tick is definitely the pokemon that i really need to utilize uh aqua jet is going to help me a lot here and i was really sure that i could maybe take it out um wasn't sure but i do not it is close but it's sadly not enough but he goes for shadow ball and i already knew that this thing may be scarfed or I wasn't sure, but I was going to find out with the pure ugly, because if it is a scarf, then I will have speed. Um, so that was basically, I'm going to go in for a knockoff, I don't know, I was, I was really banking on probably being scarfed, and yes, it is scarfed. So it does have speed, but it locked himself to Shadow Ball, which of course means that I can take it out. So that was definitely a tough play for my opponent, he should definitely go for another move, but then again, I do have Type Lotion way back, but he got a full HP. Play duel back here, and yeah, I mean, even though I do a knockoff, it doesn't do enough, sadly. And I do knock off the left door, which is great, but now it's gonna show me the other power, which this thing obviously packs. And the bigger question now is can my type lotion win against this? He got the self rock up, which means I can't really go for eruption. So I'm gonna bank on my power herb sorrel beam to be enough, and luckily, it is. This combination is more than enough to take out the clay duel, and um, yeah, I'll say this. You know, that was definitely a great battle. It came down to the last pokes, but if my opponent had locked himself into psychic, uh, I still don't believe that would have um, ended in my opponent's favor because I really know that my um, sorry, my type lotion can take a psychic and then retaliate with the flamethrower, and then when the clay duel comes in, I would still have gone for solar power or a solar beam. And then Pure Ruggle would be the last matchup, which, which probably would have killed it with the last knockoff combination. So, it it would just been on different turns, but it would, the result would still be the same. I really think my opponent played a good game though, so thank you so much, Pocket Player. So yeah, this was an awesome game, and you know, it still are proofs that Miss Mages... I have no idea what this Pokemon does in the new. It's so powerful, and you know, it's quite bulky. It's not insanely bulky, but you know, it has a presence that few Pokemon has and I think it does a really good job at it and my, I think my opponent overall played a very good game um, losing his Teddy Orsa was probably really bad um, but it was just um, what do you call it um, just a joke Pokemon anyway and uh, I think it did some good damage to my team anyway uh, with the facade and whatnot really worm will down the Wormadan which definitely was troublesome for my opponent to you know, take out straight ahead and overall that, I mean, my opponent did a good game here, and uh, it could have ended in his favor. It definitely is the last few turns there that really, really stands out to being very decisive. But I think overall my opponent played a good game, and uh, I'll link his channel down below. He's a very good tuber, so make sure to check this guy out. And, you know, besides that, I want to thank you all for watching, as always, of course. And remember, the sky's limits. So a good day, and take care, right? Bye.